In this video, I will show you how to bake your materials, textures and lighting on your model and how to import this data into Gravity Sketch. First, we will start with the setup. Let's split our window into three smaller windows like this. And we will need a UV editor and a shader editor. Let's also make sure that we are in cycles. Turn on GPU compute. If this option doesn't show for you, go to Edit, Preferences, System, and turn on CUDA or Optics. If you have a, a RTX card, use Optics, it will be faster. Then save preferences and call the pre close the preferences. Now the texturing part. Create materials and textures which you want. I will use this already textured model for this showcase. First, make sure to add a light. I recommend using sunlight. You can use any other lights, but I will use sunlight. Position it so it will create some interesting shadows. Make sure to put up the strength of the light in the values between 5 and 10. I found out that these values work very well. Let's create a new UV map. Select your object which you want to bake the textures from. Go to its object data properties right here and in the UV maps click the plus icon to add a UV map. I will call this map bake. Now we will unwrap our model. I will be using seams to create a nice even UV map. I will go to edit mode, go to edges, select edges and select the loops and some more loops. Press Ctrl E, mark seam. Now I will press A and unwrap the model. You can already see I have a pretty nice and even UV map over here. If the geometry is too complex, you can unwrap the model using the Smart UV project option. Next, we will add a new node called Image Texture into our material, which we want to bake. I will select the object, and here in the shader editor, I will add a Image Texture node. After this, we will create a new texture by clicking the plus or the new icon on the node. I will double the size by 2, so my texture is much bigger. I will call this texture Bake, Bake Tire and press OK. Now, so I can see what will happen here in the browse image icon, I will find the new texture. I will also add a HDRI environment, so the tire is nicely lit. I will go to the world tab in the shader editor, press use notes, I will find my notes. And if you have Node Wrangler turned on, I will press con select the background node, Ctrl T, and now I will find my HDRI texture that I want to use. In the material preview, we can click this drop down menu so we can see the environment. Now I will go back 
here into the shader editor and switch to the object mode. Now, when we have our scene prepared or our objects prepared, we can prepare to bake. Now we have to make sure that we have selected the image texture right here. We have our UV selected and we have selected our object. Now we can go into the renders properties and here I will turn down the sample because I don't need as many samples as 4000. I will put on something like 100. Now we can go to bake and click bake. If you want to see how this texture will be applied to the model, you can go here in the do into the viewport shading, click the drop down menu and from material or, or object click texture. I'm not really happy with the result. I'm going to edit the UV maps a bit so I will get a bit better result. I've tweaked the UV maps and now I'm much happier with the result. Next step is to save the texture. Make sure to save it as JPEG because Gravity Sketch doesn't read well image files that have a alpha map in them. So files like PNG won't work very well. For saving the texture, go to image and save the texture. Either save or save as. In the Blender file view, go to Format and save the texture as JPEG or some other texture that doesn't use alpha maps. After this point, I recommend to duplicate the original object with Shift D and clicking Escape and moving it into a new collection. By clicking M, New Collection, I will call this collection Bake. Now we can hide the old collection. So we only have the new collection with our baked mesh. After duplicating the object, unassign the original material by clicking the X button in the Materials tab and creating a new one. In the new material, we will just add a single texture node and connect it to our base color. Click Shift A, search image texture. Put the color into the base and in the image texture, we'll select our new baked texture. After creating the new material, the last thing we have to do before exporting is to delete the old UV maps. Go to the object data properties and click on the old UV map and click minus. The same on the all the other ones except the bake UV map. Now I will apply all transforms of the object. So, so the origin point is in the middle of the scene. The last step is just to export the mesh as a FBX file. Go to File, Export, FBX. Go to your folder where you want to export your model. Make sure that your object is selected. And here in the Blender File View window, change the path mode from Auto to Copy and check this small box. Limit the export to selected objects only and apply all transforms. I will name my I will name my object tire and now we will just export it by clicking the export FBX button. Next step is to upload this model 
to landing pad. You upload to landing pad by clicking the upload button and finding your file. You can see it has uploaded and now you can import it inside of Gravity Sketch as a prefab. Once in Gravity Sketch, press the blue button, go to Prefabs, import models and find your model. Just drag and drop it into the scene and you are done.